Welcome back. Last Thursday, Attorney General of Canada David Lametti announced that Foyer Richelieu in Welland would be receiving $2 million toward its new community and cultural center. CAO Sean Keyes is here to talk about the news. Sean, this is big news, this $2 million. Oh, well, it's definitely a red letter day for people in Niagara, Franco Ontarians, and Franco Canadians. We're very happy about the announcement. Really big news during this pandemic is that Foyer Richelieu as a long-term care home has had no cases, one of the few in Niagara that can boast that. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, you know, we're very blessed that not one staff, not one resident. And, you know, I know we're praying hard, but it's thanks to all the great people working here, the families who have been very patient with, along with the residents and the very generous community. We're, we're very blessed that way. So how did this money from the federal government come about? Almost two years ago, Melanie Jolie, at that time she was Minister of Heritage Canada, came for a visit. This is before COVID. And uh, we had a wonderful visit with her and some of her staff. And they introduced us to the great people at Heritage Canada, uh, the people that work at the front offices there. And we built an amazing relationship, shared our mission, our story, and realized, wow, why not build a community within a community? You know, and um, Vance Badaway, our great MP here in Welland, uh, has been a great advocate for Francophones and for this project. And we put an application and it was it, it was announced, uh, just as you mentioned, and it's the biggest they've given out of this new program. So the $2 million is the biggest grant they've given. When this project is done, I understand you will be doubling the capacity for beds at Foyer Richelieu? That's correct. So right now we have uh, 65 long-term care beds and we'll be going up to 128. In the building that I'm in right now, we'll be converting that into supportive housing, 50 wellness suites. And then we have a residence Richelieu, which is independent living, which is separately operated by different board of directors, all not for profit on this campus. And then finally, we'll have uh, 10 hospice beds, which will be in the same building as the new long-term care. That'll be 10 and separately operated by Hospice Niagara. And then finally, the thing that'll glue everything together will be the new community and cultural center, which will look after about 250 people living on this site, plus all the great volunteers and staff, along with families and friends visiting. So it'll be a real nice noyau, as we say in French. Will the rest of the Welland Francophone community also be able to access that community center? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're already having great discussions with uh, La Maison uh, de la Francophonie. It's a cultural group in, in Welland. So I, what I understand is they don't have a place to hang their hat. So this will be a great opportunity for them to have some office space free of charge, uh, plus some uh, meeting rooms. And then any other group that wants to come in, uh, you know, as long as they support our mission and they're truly not for profit groups, we'd like to partner with the daycare and schools to do shows and bring in all the multi generational. Uh, ages so we could you know really have a nice environment for people. Sean when do you break, break ground on this project and when will it be completed? We're looking at breaking ground in April of 2022 so in about a year and it'll take two years so we're about three years away and uh, maybe we'll get in a little earlier but that's the the projected dates at this point. And do you still have a fundraising drive on? Well that's again another great question so our goal with the Touching Life campaign was five million and we were at um, 400.4.75 million and this brought us up to almost 7 million so we've surpassed our goal but it's continuing as we have another project called the one brick at a time and uh, basically that'll probably close us at the 7 million mark by the end of this year.